I'm very aware how quick life can take from you. And I've always prepared my mind for the next chapter. And what happened with me was I started this thing called front loading. So when I was young, I used to be a little piece of shit. Oh, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. I can't do that. But the second I got my head out of my ass and I realized, man, you can achieve a lot of if you get off your ass and you start moving and you start motivating yourself. So I become a self-motivator. So I started front loading. And front loading is people, man, you've done so much by 47 because I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring me. So my, my military resume is fat. You know, I did a lot in the military. I did a lot outside the military. I've, I've, I've made money. I've, I've, I've done almost every race out there, hard race in the world. I've broken pull-up records. I've done a lot of sh So when these bad times come, and also, not, like, like, not only that, like work your ass off so, so you can enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you're taking a shot. You know, you, you may not live to be old, but what if you do? And you worked your ass off when you were able, and you were able to get up early, able to grind. If you front load it properly, the back half of your life is money. And that's what I did. And this is one thing about life. This is why you always must be ready. Always be ready. Never get ready. People go, oh, hey, what are you training for, David? I ain't training for shit. When something pops up, I'm ready. So when Cam popped the fuck up and Cam calls, hey, man, I'm going to be in uh, Las Vegas. You want to go for a run? Sure do. Sure do, brother. <laughs> Sure do. While the run sucked, I was ready. We ain't got some steak. Same day. Saying, oh, we worked it out, dude. Whenever me and him are together, you can guarantee it's going to be two people that love each other, but are waiting for the other. People are often confused about stress and responsibility. A person who doesn't make mistakes doesn't make anything at all. Do not be afraid to die, but be afraid to live without living. Marcus Aurelius This quote encourages individuals to embrace life fully and to live each day with purpose and meaning. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. When your desires are strong enough, you will appear to possess superhuman powers to achieve. Feelings, whether of compassion or irritation, should be welcomed, recognized and treated on an absolutely equal basis, because both are ourselves. Tishnat Han What's your desire for your family? What do you want? To, what, what do you want as your family? Write that down. What's your desire? Come on, come on. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. What about your faith? What do you desire to do? Like I'm not really, you know, I I wake up every morning, three o'clock, first hour of my day, I dedicate it to my walk and talk with God. What's your faith? I'm not suggesting a particular one for you. I'm not telling you what to do. But if you have a faith, what is it? And and, and where how healthy do you want it to be? your desired outcome what kind of fun do you want to have i just go to dubai for fun anytime i want to have fun i just go to dubai that's my spot for fun that's just my spot and then um there's a spot um escarit in uh, uh mexico that's another spot that i like to go to but it just those are my two spots when i want to go close mexico when i want to go far dubai like when i don't want my phone to work i go to dubai when I don't want to be on the same time zone as everybody else, I go to Dubai to get away. All right. So before we go to the next one, all right, I just need you to know, like you may not have it all now, but when you leave, I need you to know what you desire. Why? Because this is the thing that's going to wake you up and this is the thing that's going to make you go. So I'm putting kids through college, Super Bowl, Dubai, right? So, so every day when I wake up, y'all, I'm driven, driven, driven. And most of you are not driven and you're not driven because you don't have an engine. You don't got an engine. That's how, the only way you stay driven is that you know what you want. You wake up every single day and you go for it. The people who are not driven, they wake up and they're clueless. 
The people who wake up and they don't know exactly what they want to do, they're clueless. The people that are not clear on their life goals, the people that are not clear in every of these areas, they wake up and they wake up whenever they want to, when they wake up sad and they wake up depressed. Why? Because either they don't know what they want or they got this stuff all out of order. Does that make sense? So, so one of the things we want to do is we want to write it down. We want to put it in the right order. Money does not come first for me. I only need money to house and to take... As the ordinary shows of the theater and of other such places, when thou art presented with them, affect thee, as the same things still seen and in the same fashion, make the sight ingrateful and tedious, so must all the things that we see all our life long affect us. For all things above and below are still the same, and from the same causes. When then will there be an end? Remember, any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. Time flies. One day you are thirty, the next you are fifty. Plan now for what you want fifty to look like. When you perform your duty without attachment to the results, you are practicing true yoga. Bhagavad Gita. No matter how hard you work, you can't have everything you want. Eventually, most of us end up settling in some part of our life. Beware of the man who does not talk and the dog that does not bark. Change is inevitable. Progress is optional. Tony Robbins. Anyhow, evolve. You're supposed to evolve. You're not supposed to be doing a job for the rest of your life, being one dimensional. We've been trained to be one dimensional. We've been trained to what to think, not how to think. Evolve. Given where I came from, I can teach you a thing or two. So it won't take you as long as it took me because I did not know. I had this in me. You are supposed to re evolve. Most people take their greatness, take their talents, take their skills to the cemetery. No, life has no duplicate. You want to live now. You want to take a chance on you. You want to believe in you. Am I making any sense to you? Somebody's waiting on this. Somebody's ready. Somebody's ready to take a chance on themselves. Ah, oh, you got to evolve. What's in you? Make a resolve, make a commitment to get in a community of people that are growing, get a coach that has, has evolved doing what you want to do so you don't take the stuff that God put in you to your grave. That's why Miles Rondo kept on saying, rob the cemetery, rob the cemetery, rob the cemetery. You got so much more stuff in you than you realize. You know how many people you've seen and looked in the mirror at they have so much intelligence and abilities and talents and skills they never put to use for themselves. You're here to evolve. You don't know. You got to take a chance on you. Call forth those things that be not as though they were. Why do I speak about this with such conviction? Because I'm living it. Others talk about it. I'm living it. I have done it. Stick a fork in it. It's done. I've done it. I paved the way. I know what it takes to earn your first million. And I did it before the internet, before Twitter, before Facebook. Whether thou speak in the Senate or whether thou speak to any particular, let thy speech in always grave and modest. But thou must not openly and vulgarly observe that sound and exact form of speaking concerning that which is truly good and truly civil the vanity of the world and of worldly men, which otherwise truth and reason doth prescribe. Whoever does wrong wrongs himself. Whoever does injustice does it to himself, making himself evil. Never expect too high. The more you expect, 
when it doesn't meet your expectation, the more it's going to hurt you. <laughs>